So I'm sure pretty much everyone watching this video is familiar with Jake Paul and some of the stuff he's done in the past. I mean, the dude and his brother have kind of been walking the tightropes of the law and YouTube rules for like the past four years now. I mean, the Paul brothers are probably some of the most controversial and hated YouTubers on the entire platform. And I think especially Jake at this point kind of knows that that's what they have to do to get views nowadays. Because I mean, when you compare like any other popular vlogging YouTuber to Jake Paul, I mean, there's a clear difference. He just kind of throws himself into controversy as much as he possibly can. Now, with that being said, as I'm sure most of you guys know, for like, what, the past week and a half now, there's been major riots and protests going on in pretty much every single major city in the United States. It's pretty wild. I mean, it's been plastered all over social media and the news. And I'm sure whenever Jake Paul heard about that, you know, he just jumped at the opportunity for some quality vlog footage. So in the middle of all these protests and everything going on, I just out of nowhere, out of the blue, footage starts to surface on social media of Jake Paul and his camera crew, you know, his whole vlog squad, I guess, in the middle of a mall that's being looted in Arizona. I mean, what are the odds? Who would have seen that coming? Jake Paul using, you know, a historical event, riots and protests, stores being looted, who would have seen Jake Paul using that as vlog footage? So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the footage here of Jake Paul and his whole squad here in the middle of this mall that's being looted. And then after you guys have seen the footage here, we're going to talk about what's really going on. What? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Wait, oh, my God! Oh, shit! Oh, my God! It's getting crazy! Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Now, I mean, first off, that's literally like, that's like the first 15 seconds of footage, and there's literally so much to analyze. I mean, I'm gonna save the most important information for last, but I mean, first off, there's literally a dude here trying to take a selfie with Jake Paul in the middle of a riot. I mean, like, less than 15 feet away, you can see the local PF Changs being broken into, you know, rocks are being thrown through the windows, and then there's just this dude here getting a picture with Jake Paul. And then secondly here, this one I'm just kind of confused by, does it not look like, I mean, this is one of the last frames from the video, but whenever the camera's kind of turning, does it not look like this man is sitting here holding a rifle? D does it not look like this dude is sitting here, you know, outside the P.F. Chang's holding a sniper rifle? Just casually posted next to the P.F. Chang's with a Barrett 50 caliber. And then lastly, here's where things kind of took a turn for Jake Paul here. You may have missed it, so I'm going to replay the clip from a different angle here. But in the middle of this clip, somebody grabs a bottle from the P.F. Chang's and then runs over to Jake Paul to try to give it to him, and Jake Paul, for some reason, I mean, I don't know what was running through his head, but he takes the bottle from the guy. I don't know what, I don't know if he thought, you know, there was no cameras on him, or, like, there's no problem just stealing a bottle from a store. Maybe he forgot who he was for a second, he forgot that he's literally a celebrity with a camera crew around him stealing a bottle from a store. I mean, I, I don't know what he thought was gonna happen. Oh my god, it's getting crazy. Oh. So, I mean, you could very clearly see there somebody breaks a window, grabs a bottle out of the PF Changs, hands it to Jake Paul, and you can see whenever the camera turns back again, he's still holding it in the clip. I mean, did he just forget that he's like a multi-millionaire celebrity with cameras pointed at him? I mean, there's a pretty big difference between like a random civilian stealing this bottle who can't really be recognized under a mask and somebody like Jake Paul doing this. Now, after this whole situation kind of unfolded and he got trending on Twitter, people were trying to cancel cancel him. He made this response on Twitter and this response is kind of funny. He acts like, you know, he acts like cameras weren't invented. He acts like we're in 1739 and we're kind of riding on horses in the wild, wild west. And there's not like footage of him openly on the internet holding items that have been looted because in this response, he sits here and says that, you know, he says to be absolutely clear, neither I nor anyone in our group was engaged in any looting or vandalism. I mean, it's on, it's on camera. You're literally on camera holding 
looting an item that's been looted. You know that just because you personally didn't go inside the store, it doesn't mean that you're not responsible, right? I mean, you saw the dude break into the P.F. Chang's, grab the bottle, and give it to you. You knew exactly what was happening. You you didn't just, like, you know, appear there. You were com you completely understood the context of what happened. You didn't just spawn there with a bottle from P.F. Chang's in your hand like you're in a Call of Duty match. I, I don't think that's really how that one worked out. You you're saying he just, you know, somebody just handed him a bottle in, in the middle of a mall that was being looted, and he assumed it wasn't a stolen item? Now, after a couple days had passed on this whole situation, ABC tweeted, hashtag breaking, YouTuber Jake Paul has been charged with criminal trespassing in unlawful assembly after video shows him alongside looters in Scottsdale, Arizona. Now, here's where this gets pretty ridiculous. Jake Paul, quote, replies to this tweet and says, give me my charges and let's put the focus back on George Floyd and Black Lives Matter. Now, here, obviously, he's kind of trying to act like a hero, like he's trying to put the focus back on everything that's important, when really, if anybody took the focus away from it, it's him, because he literally started this whole situation. I mean, I don't think ABC 15 was looting inside of a mall. I mean, I don't think the ABC 15 Twitter account was holding a looted bottle from P.F. Chang's and getting trended on Twitter for it. I mean, I guess he realizes that he messed up or something because he's really trying to, you know, you know cover it up and look like a good guy now because he's retweeting a bunch of Black Lives Matter posts and he put blacklivesmatter.com in his bio in his actual bio says, please click the link in my bio. I mean, it's clear he's really trying to like suck up to people and try and get back on the good side of people. But anyway, that's where I'm going to wrap up this video. Tomorrow, I'm going to make a video looking at his video response that he made on YouTube to this whole situation because his response is like awful. And I think that could be a whole separate video in itself. So that's what we're going to do here. But anyway, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at RelaxYT. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.